Hi, this is Hal Lack again. From my last video lecture or tutorial, uh, we covered, or I covered the, the while loop. Uh, in this short uh, tutorial, I'll cover the do while loop. The do while loop is um, a little bit different from the while loop. You recall the while loop, the, the actual evaluation condition here, because the condition that's to be evaluated uh, is at the start of the construct. You notice that uh, if counter is less than 10, then we will enter the loop. The do while loop actually allows us to execute this first and the evaluation comes after. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna change this code. So I'm gonna refactor this code and I'm just gonna call it uh, do while loop. So I'm just gonna do that. Instead of rewriting, I'm just going to refactor some of the code first. And we'll do the same for this. It's going to be a while counter. I'm going to call it the do while counter. Finish. So it's going to change it in here for me as well. Okay. So uh, let's refactor this code. I just made a note, um, I don't really use the do while loop all that often. Um, so it's one of those loops that I don't use very often. And it's got a weird type of syntax. So the, you notice that the semicolon comes at the end. Okay, so this is the do while loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all this out. All right, so I'm just gonna move it up here. Right. And again, I'm going to just take this and just put it back here. And we'll see whether this is the same or not. Okay, so let's let's go in and, and see what's happening here. So the counter is, is at zero. We come in and we print the counter, and we'll increment. And then after we increment, we'll do the evaluation. Okay, so let's. Uh, so this in print, and just run it. So this seems a little slow today. We have way too many things opened. So you notice that again, just as the while loop, uh, print zero to nine. But notice that we we just go in and and execute. Uh, the loop body first okay so for example with the while loop um, say that we're at say that count is at 10 all right so if count is at 10 it shouldn't print anything but the do while loop allows you to print see that 10 right with the while loop it wouldn't print anything okay so um, <clears throat> okay so if we actually do the while I can just do a really quick one here so while counter is less than 10. All right, so actually put this down here, okay? So if I reset count to 10, you'll see, okay? Count, sorry, counter. Right, it's less than 10. You, you see that this will never get printed. We'll just have the same thing printed. Okay, see that? So this never gets entered. Okay. So that's the difference between the two. All right. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Now for the flow chart, you notice that this is the while loop that I did. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Create a new document. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the do while loop. I'm just going to copy the whole thing from the 
the while loop diagram. Okay, so this is the while loop, right? Now, uh, this this will be a little bit difficult to change. So now, this part actually has to move down to here. Okay, so based on what we show in the code. So uh, let me see if I can actually move this down here. Oops. And so I'm just gonna get rid of this first, and I'm gonna move. This is gonna be a little bit messy. It's gonna break all this up. And so I'm gonna push it back up here. So we're going to display counter. Right. We're just gonna have an arrow there. Just get rid of this one. All right. So this is what we have. You notice that the the diamond shape is at the bottom now. The, the decision. Okay, the decision shape there. So now uh, with this, you notice that, okay, we initialize the counter to, uh, oops, this should go back to zero, all right? And now we display it, we increment, and then we do our condition, all right? So we go to here, okay? So now if counter is uh, less than 10, right? We say this is, True, we're gonna go back up here and oh, I'm gonna change the shape of this. All right, and we're gonna display it again. Oh, this is always tricky. This is always hard to do. Let's see if I can. Delete it and do it again. Let's always come back to it. Ah, there it is. That's good. Much better. Bring this back to the middle. Okay. So if this is if, if this is true, then I'll go back up and I'll display counter again. And if no, we're going to actually display it. All right. So this is what the do while loop looks like. Okay, in a flow chart uh, a diagram. So this decision the decision actually comes after. It. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we could have put the hexagon in here and say the do, right? But really, we can simulate the whole thing with just these shapes, right, for the do while loop. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, tutorial, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.